we just came out of the age of Pisces, which was the age of believing into the age of knowing. When the age of knowing came in, that's when the uh, lecture circuit started to emerge. And then what white people did was gave you the internet to deal with the age of knowing and to try to stay in control of it. Negative thoughts in this particular time will be the death of you. That equates with you staying at the base of the mountain. And when Moses, this fictional character, osmosis, because it means to shift. They were making a shift, osmosis. They were making a movement. You were moving out of one age into a next age. That's what that story's about, I'll just say as well. Moving from one age to the next age and move into a new reality, this land of milk and honey, this new land of abundance, this promised land. You understand what I'm saying? So this is upon us now. And those who think with that same bullshit, black on black crime, I hate niggas, what the fuck you talking about? This bitch, you know what I'm saying? The love and hip hop mentality the Wendy Williams attitude. That's why she's being taken out. Th those type of things, time out for it. You're gonna see this shit, those type of motherfuckers drying up more and more in a certain amount of piety and honesty emerge. This shift is happening, is beginning to be time out, more and more time out for the dumb shit, the meet the browns and, and all the rest of that crap. It's time out for it. And they're trying hard, hard to keep that image going. You don't believe me? Watch a show called Young, African, and Rich on Netflix. Nigga, y'all won't believe this shit is happening in the goddamn world. It's a bunch of Africans in South Africa doing love and hip hop shit. You just gotta get high and watch this shit. What the fuck, you are, you are coming for me? What the shit, that shit is mad sus. I'm like, yo, they doing every single thing you seen on goddamn Black Ink and the rest of that stupid human shit that niggas do with nothing but, these motherfuckers got money. Private Jets, weird ass names. There's a nigga named Swanky Jerry. Just look at Swanky Jerry. So what they're trying to show and trying to make it a universal stupidity. And I can't really say that it's not. Of Negroes acting in this ignorance. So over here, because you're conscious and we're going to discuss that too. I don't watch that, I don't deal with it, it's small, it's ignorant. No, 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 you gotta study it because it's the state of consciousness that connects you as well. You have to be aware of it because you even know, need to know, or be aware of what you are superseding as you move on in your evolution. You need to be aware of it, not just shut it down. That's stupid because to somebody else, what you're doing is stupid. It's all about perspective. So you want to, you're here to study as a scientist. You're here to see what the psyche actually can become. And just because you hadn't become it, doesn't mean you're not here to observe it and study it and learn from this ignorance to never become it, to never become it or anything like it to go deeper into the layers of how this mind control is working. Because to understand how mind control works is to understand how the mind works. And your point here is to understand how the mind works because the mind is all. Therefore, the multiverse is in the mind because the universe is mental. So if it's a multiverse and the universe is mental, where does the multiverse exist? Mentally, 